Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, coming at you with a nice break here. 2022 Hit Parade Baseball, limited edition, autographed edition, series five with the, with the new labels here. You'll see them, you'll see them soon. Everyone gets a random team in the MLB. This product loaded players on MLB's top 100 prospect list as well as current baseball stars. Every card's autographed and authenticated by the top con con uh, companies in the industry, such as Topps and Panini. Pretty nice stuff. I don't. It's only limited edition, so I don't. You're gonna see. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, graded cards, but obviously Topps Panini cards you'll see in here. All right. Big thanks to this group for making that. We only ended up doing one filler, so I also appreciate that. Makes life a little bit easier. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Connection secure, Ram. I assure you the connection is secure. Thank you. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we got Dennis down to Ivan. Three and a three, six the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we got the Phillies down to the Cubbies. It's supposed to be a World Series game today, rained out. Who does that help? Does that help the road team or the home team? Or maybe it doesn't help anyone at all. Trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. Dennis with the Phillies, Steve with the Guardians, Travis with the Giants, Steve with the Rays and the Yankees, Adam with the Angels, Roger with the Twins, Jay with the Red Sox, Steve Birch, Astros and Mets, Chad B, Pirates, Steve with the Mariners, John with the Orioles, Travis with the Blue Jays, Nestor with the White Sox, Jimmy with the Nats, Barry with the Padres, Jeremy with the Royals, Brad with the Marlins, Michael, you got my Dodgers, Nestor with the Reds, Chris with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the A's, Chris Walker with the Tigers, Steve Birch with the Rockies, Nestor with the Cardinals, Barry with the Rangers, Matthew with the Brew Crew, Travis with the Braves, and Ivan with the Chicago Cubs. It's alphabetized by team. And we'll pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that triple case break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So here we are. Let's scare up some good hits out of this triple case break here on the 31st of October, Halloween. Here's Steve Burt's last spot mojo. Yankees, he was happy with his draw. Yeah, he did get a good draw right here. Triple case break, ladies and gentlemen. So all three, all autographs, all lim limited versions right there, and series five. Ten cards per case, and it's a triple caser. One, two, and three. Now, as most of you know by now, for, uh, for Hit Parade, limited is their base level, and then I think it's platinum, and then I think it's sapphire after that. But still in these limited editions you can still get some nice stuff i mean it's basically commensurate with the price point the sell sheet gives you an idea of what's on there too okay oh First one out of the gate. Most of these are not going to be graded, but every once in a while they'll pop in a graded one here in limited edition. It's Paul Goldschmidt. Nice. One out of 18. And that's Diamondback's edition of Paul Goldschmidt. Nice. One out of 18. That is from 2018 Triple Threads Baseball. Chris Parent with the Snakes, Diamondbacks. He might win. Uh, he might win the MVP, the NL MVP this year. All right. Next up is Pete Alonso from Inception. Fifty-eight out of one hundred and fifty. 2022 Inception Baseball, Metropolitan, Steve Birch. He's got both New York teams, the Yankees and the Mets.
Next up is an Alex Bregman 5 out of 5. Two color triple relic and autograph for the Astros from 2018 Museum Collection. That's Steve Birch with a stroh. Steve, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Tonight's World Series game canceled, so they're pushing it to Tuesday. It's kind of weird having that November baseball, right? But I guess that's what we're going to be looking at in the future with the, with the extended wild card action. Although we did start late this year, but. All right, we've got a Pedro Martinez from NT Baseball. One out of 15. From 2019, NT Baseball. That's for Jay, and the Red Sox won that team in the filler. Won that spot and then got randomized the Red Sox. So nice, good little parlay there for Jay. Next up is is Christian Yelich from Stadium Club, and that's a, that's Marlins edition of Christian Yelich. That's from 2015. And that is for Brad and the Fish. Here's the graded card. Sometimes there's graded cards here. It is a 9-10. Reggie Jackson, wow. From 2006, Upper Deck Epic Materials Signature, Reggie Jackson, five out of five, Jersey and Auto. Graded a 9-10. That's awesome. Centering and corners are a 9-5. The edges and surface are a nine. Mr. October, going to Steve Birch, last spot mojo. And another train whistle, Steve. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Mr. October on the last day of October. There is Barry Larkin from Diamond Icons. We're on to Cincinnati. Nine out of 10. You kind of see the contrast from the see-throughness, the acetateness of the card here. Nestor with the red legs. Acetateness is, is an actual word. Don't look it up, trust me. It's an actual word. Someone in the comments is going to be like, no, -uh, no, it's not. It's called sarcasm. Look that up. Next one is, ooh, gold frame? That's Andrew Vaughn, 33 out of 50 from Gold Label. Gold frame from Gold Label Rookie Auto. And that's pretty sharp. That's going to go to the White Sox, Nestor, and the White Sox with a spot he got straight up. Another one. Is that red or orange? Maybe a little orange? Maybe a little Ryan Mountcastle for the O's. Three color patch and autograph, 37 out of 50. John with the Orioles with a spot he got straight up from 2021 obs Obsession? Inception. Inception baseball. 
Obsession might be a theme explored in the movie Inception. And there's Freddie Freeman, Finest Moments. Braves edition going to Travis with the Braves. Braves bats have been quiet through eight innings in a rain-delayed game on June 17, 2013, before Freddie found a way with his team trailing the Mets 1-0 in the bottom of the ninth of first base and stepped in, one out, and a runner on first. Freeman worked the count to 2-2 two and two before belting a walk-off home run at 1.22 a.m., giving Atlanta a stirring 2-1 a victory, that is. A 2-1 victory at 1-22. But wait, there's more! Another one. All right, good luck, gang. There's Rex. How's it going, Rex? Rex is still miffed at me. I didn't know I, I was. You were miffed in the first place. Here's case two. Good luck. So what, what did I do this time? All right, we got Pete Alonzo, 38 out of 99. It's from uh, Diamond Kings, 2020, in that old school look. That's for Steve Birch and the Mets. You were lost for many hours. Yeah, I had a family thing come up, so I was unable to make it. But I'm here now. That's the important part. What do we got here? Book? Book it. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. 99 out of 99. Now, this isn't this is a repack product, so I'm going to actually peel that sticker back a little bit because we want to see what Travis is going to get. Now, if this was like a Panini sticker or something, an, an encased car from Flawless, I wouldn't do this, but. Oh, nice. Big jersey, nice autograph. And that's from 2019. All right, nice, Travis. There you go, Travis and the Blue Jays. Next up. Next up is Juan Soto, 93 out of 175, tier one talent for Jimmy and the Nationals. I think uh, Juan Soto is gonna, has one more year. I guess that'll be kind of a story, interesting storyline to see if he just takes the year and tries free agency or if the Padres will lock him up with some sort of extension this off season. Be one of the one of the many one of many entertaining storylines, off season storylines creeping up. Next is Jersey and Auto Gary Sheffield, the Yankees edition, seventy out of seventy five. 
It's from uh, 2017 Triple Threads Baseball. Steve Birch with the Yankees, last spot mojo. Oh, we got our uh, our Royals insider, g -Lo. We got boots on the ground in Kansas City. Royals hired Rays coach, to, Rays coach to be the new manager. A Rays bench coach? To be? There is a three out of three Alex Bregman. Another Alex Bregman from Luminaries. 2021 Luminaries. We got a case 2022 Luminaries. In the store right now, if you want to get in on that, ABC always be closing. See, that's a sticker I wouldn't take off. Three out of three Astros, Steve Birch, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Uh, Gabe, how do we feel about this hire? Frank Thomas, 12 out of 25 from Tier 1. Nestor with the White Sox. Nestor, trust me, she'll like it too. It's a nice hit. At qua Quadrado? Raro? Or raro? Well, the Guardians have in the World Series also. Awesome. Hmm. All right. Sounds like a sounds like a good hire. Oh, nice Logan Gilbert. Purple speckle. Fourteen out of two ninety nine. Steve Birch with the Mariners. Albert Pools officially filing for retirement. Wants to cash in on that uh, that sweet, sweet MLB pension. There is Clayton Kershaw. Nice. 90 out of 99. Jersey and autograph. That's from an older Triple Threads. It's from 2013. Triple threads. That's awesome. Just got my Dodgers. Michael Osio with the Dodgers. Sounds like a young guy, G Lo, right? So maybe uh, that's good. That's good for a younger team. Former Kansas, right? Former Kansas City. Age. Kansas City really doesn't try to claim Pujols, do they? Or do they? Or do they? I'll bet they do, actually. Uh, there's Johnny Bench, 15 out of 25. Bench wins the Battle of Titans back in October of 73. Yeah, part of the Big Red Machine. We're on Cincinnati. Nestor with the Reds. I'll bet, I'll bet Kansas City Chamber of Commerce really leans into that in their, in their local pamphlets. Some famous Kansas City residents. <laughs> Albert Pools. Well, maybe you should make a pitch to the Chamber of Commerce saying, hey, listen, we gotta we gotta get in on that on that Albert Pujols train. And there's Bob Gibson, speaking of the Cardinals. Nice. Marks of fame from Absolute Baseball. 47 out of 50. That's an older set. 2005? That's pretty cool. I guess this is technically Donruss Playoff Baseball, but with the absolute stamp right there as well. Anyway. Either way, awesome stuff. Nestor with the Cardinals. Good little run for Nestor right there. But wait, there's more again. A third case. 
Gilo, you should be that guy. Go to the Chamber of Commerce. Let's do that. Let's put up a little, uh, pitch the city to put up like a little plaque or a sign or something like that. Albert Pujols was here for like a second. You know, they could mix it into uh, Chamber of Commerce type stuff. You know, when they're trying to trying to lure businesses into uh, into the area, and they'll be like, "Hey, you know, this is the this is the home of uh, Albert Pujols." Remember, he played. What was it? I'm I'm looking at. Was he there for? Uh, one year? At Fort Os Osage? Osage? Sta Osage? Statue? Or high school, that is? We need a Jack Black sign in statue? Was, is he from Hermosa? But I think he still lives in LA, so. Is he from Hermosa? I don't, didn't realize it was from Hermosa Beach. Um, he still lives in LA, so I don't know if that's really. I don't know if that really works. There's Key Brian Hayes. Nice. Nine out of ten. Silver ink autograph. From 2022. Tier one baseball. Chad B with the Pirates. I you know, I wouldn't really claim Albert Pujols unless he until he kind of said, hey. You know, getting traded to the Dodgers, uh, you know, and getting away from the Angels kind of revived, I don't know, reinvigorated him. If he was just kind of there and didn't really do anything and that was that, I don't know if I'd really claim him. But he did make a pretty, pretty instant impact in the clubhouse, at least. All right. Next one is a rookie ticket autograph. Jordan Alvarez. Right, Houston edition, nice. I was like, is it that Alvarez? It is Jordan Alvarez, it's a good time to get this. That'll be for Houston. No problems here, Steve Birch with the Astros. Let's see if he went to high school out here. Jack Black was born in Santa Monica, but raised in Hermosa Beach, Rex. He was raised in Hermosa Beach. His mom worked on the Minuteman nuclear missile guidance system, the Apollo lunar module, and the science ground station for the Hubble's telescope. We got Anthony Rizzo, rookie Anthony Rizzo, Padres Anthony Rizzo from Top's Finest. That's a blast from the past. That's going to be for Barry Roberts. It's 125 out of 499. It's pretty sweet. I feel like you can field a, a full all star team of, uh, of people. That were that were former Padres. I don't know. Jack Black's got some competition, according to uh, Hermosa Beach, the Hermosa Beach Wikipedia page. All right, see these are well, no, maybe not. A lot of people who live in Hermosa Beach. But Jack Black might be the only person on this page that has the grew up in Hermosa Beach tag next to him. So maybe he should get a statue here. Here's Steve Carlton, a 9 out of 15. Does Steve Carlton have a statue? Outside of uh, Citizens Bank, I think it's Citizens Bank, out of, out of the, the vet? What do they call it back? It probably would have been the, the vet back in his day. Dennis with the Phillies.
Yeah, there are a lot of free agent questions, including does Anthony Rizzo stay in New York? Did he opt out, or is he? Is this the last year of his deal? I think he opted out, right? He had one more year. I mean, they probably would. Especially if, uh, especially if they don't, if they lose out on the Aaron Judge sweepstakes. There's Xander Bogarts. That's another guy I think who had opted out and could be out there. Three out of twenty-five silver ink auto. Be a lot of great shortstops on the market too. That goes to Jay and the Red Sox. Have I seen a recent video of Jack Black? Looks like an old scientist living on the streets. No, I don't. I don't, I don't keep tabs on Jack Black. And we got Corey Seager, Dodgers edition, rookie Corey Seager. Six out of ten black ink from Immaculate Baseball. It's pretty sharp stuff here. Michael Osia, Corey Seager. Oh, he hasn't officially opted out. Hey, I, I feel like... I feel like he should stay. I feel like he's fits that club pretty well. Doesn't seem to be perturbed by the New York lifestyle. Hey, speaking of New York, jersey and autograph, Aaron Judge from Gypsy Queen. Nice. One out of 25 from 2018, Gypsy Queen baseball. It's Steve Birch with the Yankees, last spot mojo. Strikes again. I feel like I feel like a lot of big free agent signings will be put on hold until until they figure out uh, until Aaron Judge signs somewhere. A lot of the a lot of the big money thrown around in free agency could be held up by what Aaron Judge ends up doing. And then the sh then there'll be a domino, I think, with all the short shots being snapped up, and then. Piece everything together there. Retro signature, 64 out of 99, Ronald Acuna Jr. From 2019 NT Baseball, Travis with the Braves. Oh, wow, you read that Judge? Him and Judge are really close. He may try to follow him wherever he goes. Yeah, I didn't realize he was close either. Who's saying he's close? <laughs> New York Post? Have they seen? Have they been seen uh, going on double dates together and frolicking in the uh, the autumn leaves in Central Park? All right, next one is a thicker one, and it is it's Chris Bryant. Six out of forty-five Cubs edition of Chris Bryant. And this is an old edition of Five Star. This is 2018. Five Star Baseball. It's really sharp design there. Cubs edition going to Ivan and the Cubs. Bought a spot straight up. Got randomized the Cubbies on the board with the Chris Bryant. That'd be really interesting. Maybe if like Judge signs with New York... Maybe Rizzo will be like, all right, I'll take a discount here in New York. Or maybe if they go else, I don't know, if, if they go elsewhere, I don't think you'd do a discount if they go elsewhere, but if they stay in New York, maybe. All right, and the last one, the 30th hit of this triple case break here on the 31st is going to be Eloy Jimenez. Two out of five, we're closing with a train whistle. Two color patch and autograph from NT Baseball. White Sox, Nestor with the White Sox. Two out of five, out of five to under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Thanks very much, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was a nice triple case break of 2022 Hit Parade Baseball autographed limited edition series five. Random team break number one. Um, keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're always, we're always getting 
this fun hit parade stuff. So keep an eye out there. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next hit parade break. Bye-bye.